Microsoft shows us how you don't need to travel to a galaxy far, far away to chat live with a hologram. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. Microsoft created a new type of live 3D capture technology so you can transport yourself as a hologram in someone else's room and chat with them in real time, even if you're thousands of miles away. But to see the hologram in person, you're going to need to wear a HoloLens headset, which is not available yet to the public. We saw teases of this technology before, but now Microsoft has given it a name, Holoportation. And the company published this demonstration video showing that it takes several special cameras positioned around the room to capture your image which is then reconstructed, compressed, and transmitted to another user. This interaction can also be replayed later to make it feel like you're reliving a memory. Or you can shrink it down to fit on top of a table, very similar to the technology from Star Wars. I'm looking forward to when we don't need to wear a hollow lens to see the images and can just project them from our droids. We may hear more about this in HoloLens from Microsoft on Wednesday during its annual build conference for developers. If you look at Microsoft's schedule of events for programmers, it seems that the big themes are around the cloud and Internet of Things, which is just tech jargon for having more devices in your home connected to the Internet. CNET will be blogging live from the Wednesday keynote, which Microsoft is also streaming live starting at 8.30 a.m. Pacific, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Microsoft's HoloLens is not exactly virtual reality, it's more like mixed reality. But get ready for a busy few days of virtual reality discussion. The Oculus Rift is now beginning to arrive this week for those that pre-ordered the VR headset. You're going to want to check out CNET's review of the Oculus Rift, which is far from a traditional product review. And HTC's Vive VR headset is going to arrive next week on April 5th. There's also news relating to Sony's upcoming PlayStation VR. The Wall Street Journal reports that Sony is planning to sell a more powerful version of the PS4 console to handle virtual reality with a boost to graphics and processing power. But Sony has not officially made any such announcement yet. This comes from unnamed sources. That does it for this Tech News Roundup, and there's always more to explore at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey. I don't think I'm supposed to walk with this on.